Have you ever wondered how deep the ocean really is? It's deeper than most of us realize. If you were to shave off all the land from the tops of every continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest point with that land, then the entire earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep. That's a lot of water. In this documentary, we will take a journey through the depths of the ocean and explore some of the most fascinating and terrifying creatures that call it home. Join us as we dive down, down and down into the unknown and discover the secrets that lie in the watery depths. But let's get a sense of scale here. This dot right here is the size of an average human. This slightly larger dot is the size of an elephant. And this is the size of the largest ship ever built, the Knock Nevis. With that in mind, let's start going underwater and see what we find out. The first milestone is at 40 meters below the surface, which is the maximum depth allowed for recreational scuba diving. A little further down at 93 meters is where the wreck of Lusitania was discovered, which is interesting because Lusitania itself was 240 meters long, which means it sank in the water shallower than it is long. But let's go deeper. At 100 meters, diving can become seriously fatal if you're not careful because of decompression sickness. But that didn't stop a man named Herbert Nitsch from accomplishing the free diving world record at a depth of 214 meters. This guy swam down to this level with just one single breath. Now let's get to 322 meters. We have the scuba diving world record accomplished by another man named Ahmed Geber. If he had swum down 111 meters more, then he would have reached the height of Empire State Building if it was submerged underwater. And at 500 meters below the surface, we arrive at the maximum dive depth of the blue whales, the largest creatures on the planet and also the limit to the U.S. Seawolf class nuclear submarine. At 535 meters, we can witness the maximum dive depth of the Emperor penguins. But at this level, the water pressure exerted on a person or the penguins would be roughly equivalent to a polar bear standing on a quarter. Can you even imagine that kind of pressure? At 8.30 meters, we would reach the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building in the world. Once we hit the 1000 meter below the surface mark, we begin to enter the scary zone. The light from the surface can no longer reach beyond this point. So the rest of the ocean below is shrouded in permanent darkness. And on top of that, the water pressure you would be experiencing at this point would be same as if you were standing on the surface of the planet Venus, meaning that you would die very quickly. You would also meet the giant squid at this sea level if the water pressure didn't already kill you. At 1280 meters, we reach the maximum depth dived by the leatherback sea turtle. And at 1828 meters, we would reach the deepest part of the Grand Canyon were it to be underwater with us. But things start to get really interesting at 2000 meters. We start to encounter some of the most terrifying sea creatures like the ominously named Black Dragonfish a carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it. Meaning that since we are already in the total darkness underwater at this point, the only way you would see this thing coming is with a flashlight. A little further at 2250 meters, we would reach the maximum depth dive to by both sperm whales and the very frightening colossal squids. Sperm whales often have sucker marks and scars left on their bodies from the battle with the colossal squid that likely takes place at these incredible depths. Venturing further down at 3800 meters lies the wreckage of the RMS Titanic, followed by the abyssal zone of the ocean at 4000 meters where the water pressure is a whooping 11,000 pounds per square inch. Beware of the strange, almost alien-like creatures lurking in these depths such as the fangtooth, 
angler fish and viper fish. At 4,267 meters, the average depth of the ocean lies. But some parts of the ocean go deeper than that. The battleship Bismarck sunk during the World War II rests at the depth of 4,791 meters. At 6,000 meters, we enter the Hadal Zone, named after the underworld Hades. Here, the water pressure becomes a mind-boggling 1100 times of what you would experience on the surface, equivalent to an elephant balancing on a postage stamp, or a single person carrying a weight of 50 Boeing 747 jumbo jets. But it is astonishing that life still exists here in various strange forms. At 6500 meters, we reach the maximum depth that the DSV Alvin can dive to, a popular research submarine that helped to discover the Titanic. But we're not done yet, let's keep diving further. And at 8848 meters, we reach the height of the Mount Everest, if it were to be upside down and placed underwater. Go even deeper and at 10898 meters, we arrive at the depth reached by James Cameron in 2012 during the Deep Sea Challenger mission. The deepest point of the ocean yet reached by humans was back in 1960 when Don Walsh and Jacques Picard reached a depth of 10,916 meters using their submarine. We are now at the average flight altitude of a commercial airliner. But don't be fooled, we are still deep down into abyss. At 10,994 meters, we have hit the bottom of the known ocean, called the Challenger Deep. It's located just about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Islands, but it's believed that there are even deeper parts of the ocean yet to be discovered. Only about 5% of the ocean's floor has been accurately mapped, leaving the other 95% shrouded in mystery. As we conclude this journey into the depths of the ocean, it is clear that our world's ocean remain a largely unexplored frontier, teeming with countless mysteries waiting to be uncovered. With each new expedition, we discover new wonders and creatures that continue to baffle and amaze us. And yet, we are reminded of the fragility of these ecosystems and the urgent need to protect them from the many threats that they face. As we continue to learn more about the vast and mysterious depths of our oceans, let us also remember the crucial role that we play in safeguarding these invaluable resources for the generations to come. For the ocean is not just a source of wonder and awe, but a precious and a vital part of our planet that we must all work together to preserve.